Hey, what's up, everybody? Let me test, make sure my chat's gonna pop up. So, a good Christmas Eve. What's up, Dean? My dang Cyrax video got age restricted, and so I had to like delete it and like re upload it. It's like a members only video, so it won't fuck with my algorithm being like a 18 plus video because he's such a like terrible horrible little person but oh hell yeah what's up Stilo I got not much I'm just gonna play play this game I don't really have any like Cyrex stuff but, I got this funny soundboard. <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet except only the like pre-programmed... <laughs> like, canned laughter and stuff. But I like that what one. Anyways, I'm going to keep trying to play this game. Oh, Caustic, that was so good. That video is so good. Alright, so I just got to the town that essentially Misty is supposed to be. The, like, Misty of this game. Activate City, a special, and that is entirely built on top of piers. Why? Because it's cool, dummy. Do you know how to keep an idiot in suspense? Da, 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 da. Ellipses, 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 ellipses. That is pretty funny, I guess. Bulk up makes your Pokemon's rift and races attack and defense. Talk shit, get fit. Hell yeah. You're making a Fortune Pokedex? What's the point nowadays? Can't you just go on Cerebi or something? Oh, yeah, that was so cool, Caustic. The glory hole ghost of, like, Christmas future. Or Raximus future. Boom Burst. No, I don't want to learn Boom Burst right now. Baitmaster are tricky creatures. One time, researchers thought they had discovered a new Pokemon, but it just turned out to be a Baitmaster. It's kind of funny, I guess. It's like a catfish, but also Baitmaster, like, you know, Master Bait. The creep in Gadash City that flashed his penis out on me. How oppressive. What's up, Farson? Hell yes, the Pokemans! I'm assuming there's gonna be like a nugget bridge or something up here. What kind of weirdo owns a house in the middle of the water? Clover that Clover that rejects a leaf stone for a long time will grow up to have sick gains. Hey, this is our spot, man. Don't make me drag your ass back into town. Hey bro, can't you see I'm busy training? I would tell you to join us, but you're just a kid. I'm the move relearner. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes. Mmm, sniffing. Quite pungent indeed. Is that, I dare say, mushrooms? No, I'm not gonna give you my mushrooms right now. Alright. 
Now here's the gym. Yo, champion in the making, take this. Obtain the fresh water. Cool. Let me give you some advice. The leader, Tumblr Ida, is a pro who uses water type Pokemon. <laughs> Tumblr. Jesus Christ. That's, that's a little dated. That's funny, though. That's funny. It's like a snapshot. A snapshot into a bygone era, like talking about Tumblr and crap. You can drain all their water with grass type Pokemon or might use electric type to zap them. Whatever. I want to, like, battle this first person. Hold it! You're oppressing me! Tumblr Ida in this entire gym by setting foot in here. Time to put you in your place! Feminist Lewis wants to battle! They sent out Turlure! Go, Nuggy! Um, what do I have? Mary Raxx was at Root, you can use my songs for intros. Oh, awesome! Thank you, Stylus Ninja! Hell yeah! I didn't realize if I pressed the space bar, it would make this thing, like, come out and, like, go away. I forgot and I was trying to pause it like I'm watching a normal uh, video. But awesome, thank you. Absolutely. Hell yeah, Ninja. I definitely want to use some like those songs. Oh no, I didn't fight Chris Chan yet. Um, This is only the second gym that you fight. Lure fainted. Vimnishum. Fishinism. Fishinism. Oh no, use trigger. I got mad about some shit or something. Coon grew to level 20, alright. Octazooka? Yeah, Octazooka's pretty cool, right? Doesn't that like that other like artillery or some shit use it? 40, 65. So it lowers the accuracy. Trying to like run it down at the right time. Someone send Rex a homeless sign like the kinky vid. <laughs> he needs it. He needs that homeless sign. Uh. Yeah, he needs, he needs that homeless side because he is going to be homeless pretty soon. Like, that's like a scary prediction. Kiki's vid's like too, too poignant. It's going to like make Sally like die. Check your privileges. All right, that wasn't that bad. That was pretty easy. I'm going to go fight the Nugget Bridge people though. A training without bitch press is not training. No pain, no gain. Never do leg day. We're all pissing champions here. I tried to win at challenge pissing, but I was the, only made it to three feet. Maybe if I stuffed a Pokemon with water move down my pants. Step onto the raised tile when ready. When you're ready, go stand over there by my employee on the raised tile. Alright, on your marks, get set, piss! Well dang, I've never seen a 10 year old piss that much. 
Here, you deserve this. Obtain the bicycle. Put it in the key items pocket. Alright, sweet. Alright. Let me go ahead and... Oh, uh, register. There we go. <laughs> Bicycle music. I don't know. I don't know. Prolonging her life's kind of like a curse, you know, making her like live with that longer. But, you know, like people would want to live longer, essentially. But at the same time, like, <laughs> is death better than living with racks? Kinda is. A nice man offered us money for standing here and battling everyone. Bugcatcher Clark wants to battle. Strap Pillar. A uh, keck roach or whatever it is. I'm gonna try to see if I can just use the chat box that I have opened up in this other window screen and like see if I can like read it up here. It might be just a little bit slower. You beat the next three trainers, you'll get a special reward. Oh man, I hope it's a nugget. <laughs> Youngster Kent wants to battle. Rab zap. Oh shit, paralyze me. Oh my god. It actually like paralyzed me. Oh, absolutely, Farson. I love playing some like red and blue back in the day. Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> Did my like damn Wii remote die or the battery get like jolted around in it? <laughs> Holy shit. Hang on a second. <laughs> this this is stupid as fuck. I need a goddamn, uh... Whatchamacallit controller. A GameCube controller for this thing. Alright, there we go. I guess, I guess I just, like, jostled the batteries around or something in the back. Oh, shit, it's gonna probably kill me, maybe. Oh, you always read? The first one that I had was blue because some kid in like fifth grade gave it to me because that was like the time I think, um... Oh, it died again. Dang it. Okay, I am gonna have to go find a battery. Hang on. Hang on a second. This is stupid. What's up, Dean? Uh, nothing really. We haven't really, I haven't really played Pokemon, and we just talked about racks a little bit, and talked about some, like, cryptids yesterday. But, I'm so sorry, hang on a second, I gotta, like, go find a dang battery, because I didn't expect this battery to die in the middle of this.
Alright. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry there. <laughs> Yeah, dead controller stream. All right, there we go. All right, we're we're back now. <laughs> What's up, Richard? We be chilling. Thank you, thank you so much. Happy holidays to you. Switch it over here. I guess this thing is too slow. I see that there's trying to like chats trying to pop up, but it's just being too slow. Just to read up here. Oh, okay. Am I doing anything for the holidays? Yeah, I won't be streaming tomorrow. Oh, caustic. Is there Zapdos in it? Possibly. I don't really know exactly what the equivalency of all the ones are. And yeah, I won't be streaming tomorrow, Farson. I'm gonna be like just hanging out and stuff. But I have a really stupid video that I made that'll like upload or like come on or be online or whatever at midnight. It's really stupid. It's really stupid. <laughs> Did I switch them? Yeah. Hey. Hey, what's this guy gonna say? You're strong, man. What did this guy say? Super. Good old useless bridge. No, seriously, that's what it's called. Some higher up in Fortune really wanted a bridge, even though we didn't need one. <laughs> so they slapped one right here. That's so funny. Meow. Notices your balls. Ooh, what's this? Oh my god. Furry Mittens wants to battle! It's Nylet. Here's Nylet the Red Panda wanting to battle everybody. It's a kitty cat thing. <laughs> like a fake Meowth or something. I mean, pretty much. <laughs> oh, another kitty. Um, whatever. What's up, executive? Hell yeah, they're so funny. What's up, Bronze Speed? A Warhammer Marine is a Pokemon? Who knows? There's some really crazy stuff in this. I don't know exactly, like, what all's in it. Uh, should I know roll out? No, I don't want to learn it. Oh, look at that little thing. Cloud Cat. Uh... 
Not Mux Bronx, just uh, messing with this funny uh, thing. That's such a weird one. That's a weird one. I don't get what that like sound effect's supposed to be. Toward that one, that one's weird too. Furry mittens, meow. Anger Marine. Then the guy next to me who thinks he's uh Caracol really creeps me out. I feel you there, youngster or scout or whatever he is. Camper. Camper Frank wants to battle. Ah. Uh Conk Conkchilla. Conkchilla, there you go. Oh, hell yeah! Sweet. I'll definitely try to steal that amulet coin. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what this is called. <laughs> but yeah, I got a really, really silly, like, sound effects board. So I don't have to just, like, press the, like, preset sound effects on the keyboard. And I just love the canned laughter. I just want it for the canned, like, like sitcom laughter. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, oh. The Chance Wilkins scenes? Is those from like Dust Milk and Hippies? I've seen all those like Dust Milk and Hippie like edits. Those are so funny. <laughs> Canned laughter always creeps you out. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's just kind of comforting sometimes, but sometimes it's very annoying. Like, sometimes I can watch Seinfeld and it won't, like, bother me. But then other times, all I can hear is just the laughter. And it's just, like, steady there. And it's just, like, uh, 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 just, like, going and digging into your brain. Oh shit, that's gonna hurt me. <laughs> charge people to name my Pokemons? I don't want to charge people to name my Pokemons, but if I catch a Pokemon and you got like an idea, like just tell it to me, I'll just name it to them. <laughs> right, Forsen? It needs to put out a Christmas album. <laughs> what is that? That's kind of weird looking. Fairy rock? Like a fairy rock or something?
Hell yeah. Name the next one Uncle Giggles. All right. Next thing I catch all day but that. I got to make sure I've got some Pokeballs and whatnot. I got to go back and heal anyway, so. I'll go make sure I have some balls. Oh, wait. I got a bicycle now. Is it any faster than running? I don't know. It might be just a little bit, but I feel like running is just as fast in this situation. Oh, absolutely caustic. I want to get this... Yes, I, I want to get the Cyrax shit onto this soundboard somehow. I don't know how. I just, like, got it right before this stream. It was, like, given to me. And... It's got this, like, preset stuff on it. But it's also got, like, where you can, like, put stuff on it. And I definitely want to, like, put, like, crazy Cyrex sounds on this. Hell yeah, home slice. Liquid, <laughs> yeah, Liquid Chris is pretty funny. Or are you talking about Liquid Cyrex? Both of them are really funny. Let me, like, hear it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is really funny. I... T <laughs> I didn't even realize that that's, like, what was going on. <laughs> that's really funny. I mean, and I'm saying, like, what? what is it? Liquid Chris is like a personification, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really matter if it's, like, the f true flesh and blood of the same original person. It's just the idea. It it's a cartoon character, or, like, a an actor being recast. So, you know, it it's Liquid Chris. I'm just gonna still call him, like, Liquid Chris. What's up, Dark Side Becky? Oh, hell yeah! Thank you, Conversational Cyrax. I'm definitely gonna try to, like, figure out how to get the stuff, like, programmed in here. <laughs> There's just a crow for some reason. Oh, it'll be so funny. <laughs> right? Lives in danger. It's just like the silly, like, little, uh, chat bot or whatnot. Uh, Cyrex is... <laughs> executive... Uh, Cyrex is a terrible goblin. I have, like, a ton of videos that I made going through the, uh, timeline. He's just a terrible little, like, lolcal goblin when it comes down to it. Alright, how many balls do I get? 30? No. Well. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, home slice. I want that do what? God, I want that so bad. All I have is... I want to, like, make it do what instead of just what. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's small. He's actually very small. You wanna be the best and you wanna be the champ? Well then, grab your nuts and be it. No, oh, wow! <laughs> Lifter Greg. It's so funny, he's got the little head. Armando!
It, it was kind of like a recut, Executive Saunders. Everybody makes fun of Cyrex and calls him the next Chris Chan just because of how everybody trolls him and he responds so badly every single time. And it was just like a recut of him being like, everybody wants to say that I'm the next Chris Chan. And it was just cutting out like stuff to make it sound like he wanted to be Chris Chan as opposed to, uh, you know, it was just like him like bitching about people saying him. I know, right, Farson? <laughs> I probably should've just went with Gus to begin with. Is this a dang fighting type? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh my god. Problem Slice. Tony's got a bunch of problems. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, that do what compilation from Polywog is so funny. But 60, 40, yep. Oh, look at that train. A little choo-choo train. I don't have a clue. Uh, it's probably gonna be like steel type, right? It's a dang train. Yeah, he said he was a demon slayer. He was like, well, I'm from like Jonathan Putman, so I kill like demons or some bullshit like that. Damn, I I forgot my like whatever move. Ah shit. Damn it. I forgot my ground move. <laughs> He's a Belmont. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to switch it because I totally like forgot that I didn't have a ground move on that fucker anymore. Right? Trade wreck, social experiment. It's just... Because he's like the epitome of all the, like, trashy TVs. You know, trashy TV shows like Steve Wilkos, Jerry Springer, and all that. He's everything combined. He's both the episode of, like, this guy is a diddler, as well as the episode of, like, this guy has some kind of weird disease that makes him look old. It's just all of the, like, exploitation all at once. <laughs> right? Right, Caustic? If he was a demon slayer, like, he would just have to, like, turn himself in. He's the only demon I know about. Rip type. Uh, is this, like, a water type? A fighting water type, perhaps? I'm just going based off the sprites of what it looks like. It first looks like a dinosaur, but then it kind of looks like a shark, too. Yeah, uh, yeah, home slice. Sally's his grandma, but also possibly maybe his mom because there's like that troll rumor type thing going around. No, it's not a fucking... What? It's not a damn... water type after all. Oh my god, Farson. I hope they didn't buy him anything. But you know that they did. He probably got him a graphics card, and he's gonna throw a fit about it because it's not gonna, like, fit down in his computer or whatnot. It's not gonna, like, work in his computer, and he's gonna have a fit about it. 
He probably got a bunch of shit. And they're just gonna get some crappy, crappy little blankets. Oh, yeah. Sally, Sally's only ever appeared, like, once. And he was like, oh, you're on camera or something. And she was like, that's too flipping bad. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, inbred. Because his dad, like, um... Okay, and Rupal. I couldn't think of his name there for a second. His dad, Rupal, like, you know, molested, like, that girl on the bike path. So, like, who's to say he didn't do it with his mom? And then they just lied and said that, uh... Uh... Let's see what I have. Hang on, I'm trying to, like, think about getting this, like, thingy. Amulet coin. There's a second Pokemon that's got it. I saw the way you whip them other trainers back there, and my name is Kimmy. I'm pretty sharp trainer myself. How does we have a battle? If you win, I'll invite you to my secret club. Damn it, I was trying to get to the other guy. <laughs> I just set up for that. His daddy brother? Absolutely. Absolutely, Farson. Oh my god, they bought him some more racing rig bullshit. Uh, I don't think he would drink Kratom. I think the green sludge is just more just whatever. <laughs> Coffee and shit mixed together. Sugar, old milk or whatnot. Oh, yeah, those blankets. He, yeah, Ed gave him some money so he could go buy some blankets for them. Yeah, that thing died. I, I set up for the thief something before I was able to go. No goat. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I can never tell like what these like pipes are. Bulldoze? God, that's gonna kill me. Oh, it didn't. But that did. Oh my god, the Suicide Green Ranger thing? Yeah. <laughs> that was like a whole week where he just kept... Just kept on and on. No clue what this thing is. Alright, really? Exactly, like, make, yeah, like, why was he, like, exploiting, like, the dude's, like, death so hard, you know? Right? Yeah, exactly. It exploits like, oh god, you can't, people don't need to kill themselves, but then he tells Marty to kill himself. Oh, hell yeah, Sonder. Oh, is it? That's awesome.
no night. It had soundproof! Holy shit, out of all that stuff. It's like Mr. Mime, I guess. Whatever. Uh... I'm guessing this thing's probably a fairy type. Oh, it used meme? Damn. Alright, it was a fairy type, alright. Alright, cool. Phew, you're as good as I reckoned. Now I gotta go hill again and go try to like steal this guy's shit. My club is having a meeting down in Tripport City later. Hope to see you there. Toodles! Hell yeah, meme magic. I love me some meme magic. You summon Keck? <laughs> I love that when they were like, Oh look, it's the Egyptian god! I'm sorry to step away again, because I did just, like, step away to get batteries, but I've got to go get my little keck idol. Kind of see through. I better like put him up here <laughs> while I play this game for like good meme magic. Hell yeah, meme magic is real. <laughs> That's why I got that little keck. Oh my god, yeah, home slice. No, they're definitely not making money. The only person making money is Marty. Marty's the one who's like making money off of Cyrax. And Cyrax is just crying and just can't get anything right. Alright, sweet, here we go. I'll let you join my group for a small fee. Merchant Goldberg wants to battle. He sends out Chomp Chest. Is it the second one that's got the amulet coin? What's up, Dinosaur? Absolutely. Hell yeah! Merry Raxmas! Thank you, as above, so below. Thank you. Oh, hell yeah, fish sticks. <laughs> what are you, a gay fish? <laughs> oh, okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> nice, look at that one, Chan Troop! <laughs> oh, I gotta hit all the laughs. Where are all the laughs? Oh, 
Oh, I wish they would overlap. They don't overlap. Oh, well. That's so funny. That's so goddamn funny. <laughs> Chan truth. <laughs> Flatter. Oh, I used a bunch of, like, cheers, too. Oh, shit. It made me confused. Oh, hell yeah, there we go. Oh, I got the amulet coin. Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you for telling me to do that. I would never have known to do that unless you told me. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, thank you, Azabov. I'm, I have to, like, mute some of the damn audio in it because some of them got, like, copyright claimed or whatnot. But yeah, I like talking about other stuff besides just, like, Cyrax and terrible other, like, people. But that's what everybody else wants to watch, you know? That's, like, the, the thing that people like. Damn. It didn't drop his, like, accuracy once. Does it have, like, the thing where it's, like, stats don't get lowered? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it, Farson. She had a leprechaun? That's amazing, she had a leprechaun? <laughs> was it up in a tree? To me, it looks like a leprechaun to me. All you gotta do is look, look, look up in the tree. We've all seen the leprechaun, say yay. That was the very first video I ever watched on YouTube. My buddy was like, Oh man, you gotta see this video of this leprechaun in a tree. I got zero dollars for winning. <laughs> now how am I gonna give you more shekels? <laughs> Shit, I keep clicking on the same thing over and over. Item, take. Oh, hell yeah, I got that amulet coin forever now. I'm gonna give him the amulet coin, I guess, for right now. Oh, really? Oh, man, the Slender Man's spooky only because it's, like, some kind of conscious, like, evil meme <laughs> that, like, infects people's brains and gets them to, like, stab people and whatnot. Like, it wasn't scary. Slender Man wasn't scary until those girls actually, like, tried to, like, kill their friend for him. And then it became, like, kind of scary. Like, ooh, maybe it is some kind of weird mental virus that's, like, affecting people. Some kind of strange mental entity. Like, we made it. We, like, gave it its powers by, like, thinking about it too much. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Have you ever seen that episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia where, like, Charlie catches a leprechaun, but it's just, you know, a, a little short person? Huh. Where, where am I? Where the fuck am I? Is like, there's still like a bill up here? Mount Clover? No. This is like, <laughs> that's like Mount Silver kinda, right? I should like not go up here, yeah?
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty funny, yeah. I figured that's exactly the same thing that's going on. Oh hell yeah, Ninja. Sapphire was on, uh, here, on Game Boy Advance, I think. Yeah, for us, and it's spooky. I I don't know much about High on Life. Oh, there's a barrier over there. I don't know much about it. I've just only seen, like, people play it on YouTube. I've, it's, I've seen a bunch of things suggested to me. Rick and Morty was kind of funny at the beginning. I remember, like, when it first came out. Like, the first season was kind of funny and whatnot. But then everybody got so, like, stupid... Everybody got so stupid about it, then it just like, eh. The fans ruined it like how fans ruin everything. Baka! A bacon bear. Man bear pig. Oh, sweet. I need a plot item from the top of the mountain to continue. Okay, sweet. I don't even know, like, what happens in the third season or something. I barely remember it. But that game looks funny, though, for sure. That game, that High on Life game, totally looks funny from what I've seen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Half man, half bear, half pig. My buddy made a stupid ass, like, shit post way back on YouTube, like, way in the early, early days of YouTube, where it was the Cloverfield. Cloverfield was right about to come out, and no one knew what the monster looks like. And so, he did this thing, he was like, Cloverfield, monster revealed! And it was like some scene from the movie, and he paused it, and he zoomed in, zoomed in, zoomed in. And he was like, ENHANCE! And then it was just the man bear pig that he just photoshopped into it. And he was like, God damn, man bear pig! Oh, yeah. Yeah, Caustic. I can't think of his name, like, right off the top of my head. But, like, John, or whatever. I'm totally not saying it right. Jason Rowland, Jason Rowland, John Rowland. Yeah, he was definitely super serial, absolutely. I got the Asperberry! <laughs> oh, Asperberry. Or Asperberry, whatever. It's the Asperchew Berry. Here, what? <laughs> Asperberry. Oh, yeah, Pokemon Snap was fun. But, like, you could beat it, like, so easily. If you, like, knew what you were doing. If you, like, beat it once or twice, you could just, like, go through that thing so fast. But it was fun just to, like, mess with them. I would like to play that new one just to see, like, what... How it compares to the old one. But I don't have anything that, like, it would be played on. Ooh, what's this? Oh, look, an edgelord. Pinkie Pie is the best... Oh, now let's party. Neckbeard Pinky wants to battle. In between. <laughs> oh, there's another like laughter at. 
That's got to be a fairy type, right? Yep. In between, use pluck. <laughs> oh, that would be crazy, Forsen. I'm sure people could do it, like, if it was in this fashion, and like, this Game Boy Advance fashion. Oh, look, there's a weird spooky hat. Oh my god, what's this gonna be? Dark type or something, probably? Defeated Neckbeard. Oh, he said ponies made him horny or something. <laughs> exactly. If it's peak, not out of ten, it's fairy type. Yeah. Mount Clover ahead. When I started playing it, I didn't even realize like fairy types were in it because it said fire red hack, and I was expecting just up to fire red. I didn't expect fairy types or, you know, all like the new moves and stuff. And then once I started playing it, I was like, oh shit, this is like real good. Hell yeah, I found a calcium. I will defeat you in honor of my waifu. Chizetta. That one's kind of weird. That one's kind of weird. Cheese pizza Pokemon. That one's a little weird. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, I haven't played any Pokemon games since, like, black and white. Because I had a DS that had a damn, uh... One of those R4 cards or whatever for the DS, so you could just, like, put any, like, game you wanted to on it. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's gonna knock me out. <laughs> I gotta switch. <laughs> yeah, the pizza girl. But yeah, like, they don't care about the games. That's why they make bad games. Because it's just only a tiny little, like, part of, like, what they really care about. They really care more about... Oh, damn. They really care more about selling plushies and shit like that when it comes down to it. Hell yeah. As above, so below. I'll try to totally try to do that. I especially like coming up with a new year. Whenever the new year starts, I'm gonna try to like have like a more scheduled thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get yeah, I didn't get a 3DS or a Switch, exactly. That's like where I stopped. I had a DS Lite that had like an R4 card in it. Ew. <laughs> Tit. Titai. Titai. Gross. Oh, yeah. You'll never get another good... 
Because most video game companies just pl make, like, slot machines now. <laughs> they just make slot machines. God, we were in, like, Las Vegas, and all there was just like, look at this, you want to play Metal Gear? Slot machine? <laughs> you want to play... Whatever. I can't even think of them right now, but there was just so many... Like, Resident Evil. Do you want to play Resident Evil? Slot machine? <laughs> Instead of just focusing on video games, they just focus on making, like... Pachinko and slot machines. Yeah, I don't know much about any kind of game, like companies or anything, really. Oh, is that exactly executive? That's how like so many like companies are. It's just like milk kids dry. I was looking at the games on Roku yesterday. I want to at some point do a stream of the games that are on Roku that you use your remote to play. Because there are like three things that people have put effort into and everything else is a trick to get little kids to buy it and then like spend money accidentally. That's all they are. They're just tricks to trick little kids into like spending money on the remote control. Hang on, I'm gonna go back. Is Misty even there? Or Tumbelina or whatever? I wanna attempt to battle her before I keep going out through the other way. Exactly, Home Slice. This <laughs> is Scab Throw, Pick. It's like pick. He's gotta use, like use the move pick first, and then he can like use scab throw. Tom Tumblerita will kill all the rapists. I should have said grapist. Whatever. Oh my god! I hate Disney. I've always hated Disney for like the longest time. For like such a long time, I'm like, man, I don't like Disney. And now everybody finally is like catching on. Like, they're pretty, they're pretty bad. We just buy stuff and just like try to make money off of it, selling it. <laughs> Did you just grape me? <laughs> so funny. Hello there. My name is Tumbleretta. And are you staring at my. <laughs> Fishism? I can't say this stuff fast enough. You are! You're staring at my precious Pokemon! Stop harassing my Pokemon! <laughs> Go, Coom! Fishism. Alright. It used trigger. Let's see here. All right, nice. I got it poisoned. Yeah, right? <laughs> Passive aggressivism. Caroline. That's so funny. Caroline. <laughs> what the Pokemon didn't do? I don't have that many good moves on him right now. Yeah. I need to switch him out. He's only like good for like catching stuff really at this point and like stealing amulet coins.
That's hilarious. We just canceled that shit out. Oh my god, we're gonna cancel it out again? <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? It's super effective? Water gun is super effective against it? What the fuck? What the hell is this thing? I know, it's so funny. And it's funny because it kind of starts normal. Oh my god, what am I going to do? Yeah, it kind of starts off normal with like Brock. Like Brock's a normal trainer or gym leader or whatnot. No! My attack missed! <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Whew, I beat it with that quick attack. Oh no, SJ Whale. Oh, damn, it's faster than me. It's a bird. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's a cool battle theme. What's up, Jagax? Shit. Dad, god dang it. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably lose this one. I'll probably have to go train up again. Like, re-challenge her. And switch out Terry whenever I go fight. Plus, he's just only good for, like, catching stuff, really. Yeah, they're so... F they're, yeah, they're, that thing's faster than me, even though it's, like, real big. Oh, crazy, it's called Bible? What's up, Pauly K? <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I gotta definitely level up. I just wanted to at least, like, challenge it and see, like, what she had. Big old, like, whale got me. Hope you excel. Let's see here. What would be good against water types? This little bug? <laughs> Bud, this little like plant man. Crisis core? I don't think I've ever played it. Okay, sweet. It's a psychic type move? Alright. I had no clue that it was psychic type. I thought it was like doing physical damage to me or something. Okay, cool. Psychic rollout. Sweet. Alright. Alright. 
See if this thing can get leveled up when I go up here and like mess around with some stuff. Eight was good too. I don't know what you're talking about, Farson. Oh, oh, Final Fantasy Seven, Final Fantasy Eight. I played those a little bit back in the day. The one with the gun, the gun swords, those are so funny. Ha ha ha, just trying to beat my flawless strategy. Smug and Josh wants to battle. Merry Christmas. I just woke up from a dream where you laced something I ate with acid. Must have been a premonition that you started streaming. Hell yeah, Frostmeth, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have enough, I don't have anything other than these, like, preset ones. But yeah, there was some, like, good, like, sound effects for you. Maybe, maybe in that dimension, in your dream dimension, I did, like, lace everything with acid. Hmm, at least some kind of bird, maybe like a dark bird. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Seven was cool. Damn, I just... I just put that fucking thing away that has Thief. I don't have anything else with Thief right now. I didn't teach it to anything else. Why'd he try to use Baton Pass? <laughs> he tried to use Baton Pass, but like nobody else was there. Salic Berry. <laughs> Did you sell Shell Smash against? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. I used, I mean, I've seen like the smog and or smog and like things before because I used to play on Showdown every once in a while. So it's so funny, they're doing anything, they would just use like Shell Smash, Baton Pass, it makes sense, it's very funny. <laughs> just using those like, overused, like, weird team set shits. <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, it's so funny. <laughs> Hell yeah, Jackaxe. I don't think I've ever played Star Ocean 2. There's a lot of games I haven't played when it comes down to it. <laughs> Impossible, this set is OU! Oh, that's so funny. Oh, kitty cat! Cold cat! Car cold! Uh, what am I gonna do? Hell yeah. I think... I guess Pokemon was the first RPG I played. 
Uh, maybe Animorphs on Game Boy Color. There was an Animorphs game. Oh, damn. I wanted that white. Because I guess it's the ice type. I was going to use that white ball for it. Oh, that's cool. Super Mario RPG? Hell yeah. I played Paper Mario. I don't think I ever played the first one. But then I played Dragon Warrior. Or, yeah, it was Dragon Warrior at that point on Game Boy. Dragon Quest. Kara Cold's body is adapted to extreme cold and is strong enough to hunt prey twice its size. Cool. What was the name I was supposed to name it? Uncle... Giggles? <laughs> what was it? I don't know how to like... Oh my god, yeah, they made him like anamorphing into a rat. I, I can't like scroll up to like find what his name was supposed to be. Oh, hell yeah, Dragon Warrior. I love me some Dragon Warrior. It's really Dragon Quest, but, like, they named it Dragon Warrior. Uncle Giggles, thank you. They named it Dragon Warrior in the U.S. for some reason. Ah, shit. Uncle Gig L. Okay, I can put two Gs. Gig L S. There you go. Uncle Giggles. What the fuck? <laughs> Hell yeah, Jack. Yeah, I love me some Dragon Quest. I also had Dragon Warrior Monsters. And I got it, actually. Uh, speaking of Pokemon, it's a really funny story. In middle school, I would made a Team Rocket Club with people because, like, Pokemon was, like, kind of illegal at the school. Like, you couldn't have any Pokemon cards or Pokemon paraphernalia at the school because it was too much of a distraction. So, <laughs> we, we made a Team Rocket Club and, like, smuggled, <laughs> smuggled Pokemon shit in school. Or we made all this fucking Team Rocket buddy and drew, like, pictures of Pokemon on it. And all the other kids wanted it since Pokemon stuff was, like, prohibited. And we were, like, smuggling in stuff. They all wanted that Team Rocket buddy. And then this kid traded me Dragon Warrior Monsters on Game Boy for the fucking Team Rocket buddy I had. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure, yeah. And then I started playing Dragon Warrior and just forgot about the Team Rocket Club. And all that buddy was worthless then. <laughs> but yeah... A great, great time in middle school, hustling everybody out of bullshit with my fake Team Rocket money. Oh, wow! Ah, my chair's falling apart. What is this thing? A Krista Quill appeared. Oh, uh, that's the first thing in, like, I ever had, and, like, I had that for the longest time, was a Sega. What's up, Insomni Retro TV? <laughs> oh my god, just selling weed at school when you were a kid. Uh, maybe in high school, I'm talking about like, like the very first like year of middle school. <laughs> like, 6th grade. 5th, 6th grade, something around in there. Krista Quill. 
Crystal Quill spikes are laced with freezing toxins. One sting can freeze its victim's bloodstreams. Oh, cool. It's poison time. Nice. What should I name this guy? Hell yeah, bike path, bike path to enlightenment. A blight market. Playboy magazine, Regan Middle School. <laughs> Shit, that's what's up. I hit the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, someone come up with a name. I was trying to just like keep hitting this. What? First, my chat would uh, pop up faster. <laughs> Name him Aldez. Okay, cool. There we go. A L A D E Z Z. Great, Aldez. Uh, I can't draw, oh no. <laughs> Not really. My buddy can draw though. He's a, he's dang, draws for like, trading cards and shit nowadays. I can like, doodle. I can just like, do some doodles and stuff. Some like, you know, doodles, but not any kind of artistic drawings. And there's another Asperberry, but shit, I mean, that's why I'm just like streaming this stuff. That's why streaming is so much easier. It's just less work than actually editing stuff because, I mean, I like editing stuff and whatnot. It just takes so much time. I feel like that thing right there, Fluff Yeti, that thing looks just like, like the Wabu or like the Watu or whatnot that was in Dragon Quest. Or dragon warrior monsters. Oh yeah, I played some Magic the Gathering in high school with like my friends. I had like a sliver deck. Just cause I thought they were cool. I thought they were like the thing kinda. Like, oh yeah, these are kinda like the thing. They just like mutate and turn into other shit. I never really played D&D &D more than like one game with my friends. And like some big scorpions appeared and we all got bored and then we just never played it again right after them big scorpions. Hang on, I'm gonna try to like learn what the thing in Dragon Warrior Monsters was called so I can name it that. Water bow. Yeah, there it is. That's that's how you spell it. Water bow or whatnot. Hang on, I think I can make it like flash up for a second. That thing. That thing from Dragon Warrior Monsters. That's what that Pokemon I just caught looks like. Alright, yeah, let's look at him and then, like, switch it back. Oh, shit, wrong one. Yeah, same thing. They travel in packs until they evolve. When scared, Fluff Yeti stacks on top of each other, pretending to be a snowman. Yep. Alright, how'd I spell it? Here we go. W-A-T-A... Oh, yeah. Alright, hell yeah.
What's up all the way up, sir? What's up, Dexter? Merry Christmas. <laughs> cool cube. <laughs> DSP stuff. Oh my god, that's so funny. What do I want to do? I'm going to probably knock it out no matter what. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh my god. I'm sure. <laughs> Just like Cyrax, I bet, you know? Same difference. Just like manipulate, lie. What's up, Ronnie? All right, cool cube. What's called? Nice. A couple of ice cubes that got melted together after a storm. They're nearly unrecognizable in a hailstorm. Yes, I've already got a name for this in my brain. Hang on. There we go. That was just enough. Just enough letters. So there's Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> oh my god. It's just too much. Want me to heal your Pokemon? Of course, let's battle first. Alright, sweet. Nurse Joy. Ice Crack. Yeah, he's just not as good, exactly, home size. He's just not as good. If he could do it better, he would try to do it better for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He lies so much, like, they're, they're super meaningless. Oh my god, I missed it. He is, he's like a little kid.
Oh, that's awesome. That's so spooky. Yay. <laughs> Hang me. Oh, nice. That's so good. Oh. Exactly, Farson. Oh my god, DSP type talking out of your Vegas body. I'm sure. <laughs> Ebola Chan, that's so funny. Is this a ghost type, I'm assuming? Yep, because yeah, it just used hex on me. That's my favorite type of Pokemon, is a ghost top. Yeah, absolutely. He doesn't even have any autism. Oh, that's my favorite move. Curse is my favorite move in Pokemon because it only like works with like Ghost. And it does other shit for other people. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> if you poke my Getty Bola, that's it. I may have forgotten that to disinfect the needle. <laughs> That's so funny. I can't go no further. Do I go around somewhere else? Do I mess up? That's cool. That's cool. What if I told you aliens live among us? Would you believe that? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Hyper Beam? Hyper Beam was the shit back then. Oh, nice. A Limo. I'm guessing it's a psychic type, so let's see here. I I gotta switch my fucker out before he dies. That was cool, I like that X-Files theme. Oh my god, substitute. What's up, Corey? Hey. Hope you're doing well today on this Christmas Eve. Shit. Oh, sweet. <laughs> it needed to recharge. Goddamn substitutes. Yes. <laughs> I have seen a, a UFO in real life because it's something like, like we don't know what it was. It was like a fireball shot up from like the swamp. 
like a fireball shot up from the swamp, like, and it looked like like a flare, like actual fire. It was like in the woods in a swamp. But we were like in a field, like smoking weed in this field. And this fire like ball shot up from the swamp. It got way up in the air. And I got like real scared, like, oh my god. <laughs> and the thing like flew over us and it wasn't a fireball anymore, but a big light. And it like opened up this eye, like iris type looking thing and shined this beam down at us. And I was like, get on the ground, like lay down like an animal. Like this thing is weird and scary. And then just like kind of like whoop, like closed its like eye iris light beam and like everything all the lights went off and just like went away. I don't know what it was. This was back like 2013 maybe. So it could have been like some kind of weird ass high tech drone shit. I'm not sure. But yeah, Goku fighting in the swamp exactly. <laughs> you saw one during desert warfare training? Oh hell yeah, hell yeah, Corey. Yeah, like, I don't know, it might have been, like, some kind of weird-ass drone or something, but it, like, shot up from the swamp, and it looked like a fireball going up, but then it didn't look like fire anymore, then it looked like normal, like, lights, but it only when it opened it up. It was weird. Really weird shit to explain. <laughs> it was like the, the, the beam of light that came out of it opened up like an eyeball, like an iris opening up, and then a beam of light came out. And then it like went away and it flew away. I might can find um, 2008. Hell yeah. <laughs> More like I was on shrooms. I wish. That's the thing though. We were definitely smoking weed, but we weren't on mushrooms. I'll try to get. I'll try to get somebody. One of the people. <laughs> one of these days, I'll try to like call them on Skype or something to get get somebody else to like explain their version of events of what they happened. I could have been high and like imagined that it was fire as it went up and it could have just been a light because it could have been some kind of weird ass drone thing but still at the same time it was pretty crazy experience when it happened. Hell yeah that rough skin. Hey Limo. This a the theorist? Conspiracy theorist John? Aliens here? I was only joking. Ghost story stream? Oh, hell yeah. I would like to do that at some point, too, because I definitely... I got some ghost stories as well. Time to super repel. Blubbers, what do you want? Can't you let an old man rest in peace? Hell yeah, Cory. <laughs> That's what happens. Midget sleepy wants to battle. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice, just call him. Just call him midget. Oh, where's the laugh? Oh, look, a little jumping beam. Hell yeah, hell yeah, Farson. I wonder what, like, typing this little, like, jumping bean thing is. <laughs> uh, just doing sing and rest. I don't know, huh? Maybe. Maybe it's that chlorophyll. I don't know, I didn't like check to see like what type of like... 
power or effect or whatever it has, it has. It's a Rax. I, I missed which one, because my s chat's being a little bit slow, so I missed whichever one you said it was. Rax. Of course he is! <laughs> of course he is, Home Slice. Or people that he believes are, at least. Even if it's just another, like, you know, catfish trying to get him to, like, say stuff and admit stuff. I'll die, maybe now, on this guy. Oh no, sweet, all right. <laughs> oh, the trainer midget something, okay, there you go, Parson, yeah. I completely, like, forgotten, there you go, midget sleepy. What, bud is evolving? All right, here we go, nice, I got an evolution in. He's 32. Yeah, he was born in 90, so that would make him 32. <laughs> Whoa! Ignut! Ignite! Ignut! Incinerate? Yeah, I'll let it. Okay, what we got here? Incinerate the. Okay. That's kind of cool. I guess this one? Is this a fire grass type? That's pretty cool. This is way before that new pepper Pokemon or whatever the hell it is. I should tell you that there are only seven midgets in all of Fortune. I am one of them. Yeah, he looks like he's suffering. It's pretty cool. Like I, I, That guy looks pretty cool. Bud. Oh, he's just pure fire type now. Well, that completely... Well, that completely is worthless. <laughs> I was training that fucker to find a water gym. And then it just evolved into a fire type. What the hell? <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I probably should have replaced growth. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, really? If you defeat all the midgets, you get a useful item? That's awesome. I came here to hype Mount Clover, but there's no entrance. Oh, he might... I forgot to debug my code before running it. Go to my PC and change me back, will ya? Wait till I get inside the teleporter. What I do, go to my PC and run cell separation system. Oh, hey, it's Bill or the equivalent. Root initiated the teleporter cell sequencer. Oh, it does have the third evolution? Ignut? Yeah, it's essentially Bill's house. Thanks. Hey, <clears throat> thanks, mate. You're a real bro. I'm normal, by the way. Say, are you taking the gym challenge? My little brother decided to take the challenge, but I haven't heard from him in months. Here, take this too. I received a lumberry. Put it in the berry pouch. That's a lumberry! Thanks once again, pal. Oh yeah, it's Brundlefly. He should have been called Seth. He should have just been called Seth. He was totally Brundlefly in right there. Is it? Is it one of the developers of uh, Clover? 
I don't know why I gave him that accent because it started off with that, Oi, mate! So, like, I had to, like, go for it, you know? Are you gonna show me your P your PC Eevees? Yeah, I feel like checking out some of my red Pokemon on my PC. Go check for yourself. Normal's favorite Pokemon list. Which Pokemon do you want to see? Reptike. Baryok. Cloudcat. All right, cool. Donald? Donald, like, Donald Sutherland? <laughs> Donald Duck? Because I can't do a Donald Duck impersonation. How do you battle people? Fucking noob! Wants to battle! Dragon! Um, let's test out this guy who's got fire shit now. Oh my god, yeah, I'm sure he's got that bad stuff on the computer. I'm assuming that thing is a still type, but it's probably still dragon, so that's like, didn't really hurt it that much. I know, right? He's got a gun. <laughs> yeah, that's why Chris Chan, Chris Chan got fired from Wendy's. It's so crazy that him and, like, King Cobra both got fired for, from Wendy's. Yeah, because the bullet doesn't exist, or it melted because it was made out of ice. Whichever whichever one he wants to believe. Is the battle over? Did I win? I forget exactly what he did to get fired, just like being late and being like gross or and stuff. Yeah, like Chris definitely did have shitty hands dealt to him. Like he didn't help at all by like doing the things that he did, but at the same time, it, it, his situation did not help him in any way. Exactly. Exactly. Like, they didn't... <laughs> like, his parents are probably already aut autistic, too. They just didn't get, like, diagnosed with it and stuff. <laughs> Talking to of-age girls. Probably. Like, hey, what's up? You guys like gothic bad boys who uh, clean up the trays real good here at Wendy's? Oh my god. Um, Chance's biological parents are worse because one's a like rapist and the other one like died up in a house fire possibly you know if that's his real mom who knows but then when it comes to like Sally and Barb they're like almost identical on the same level of like supporting them though they don't need to support them and all that bullshit 
putting up their <laughs> gothic Christmas. Hell yeah, Death, what's up? But yeah, Sally and Barb are very similar in the way that they just don't... They just baby them and let them do like whatever they want to, essentially. Ice cubes! I just want to get back down to like where the like shit is to battle. <laughs> Yeah, like, Cobra's... I don't know. I kind of feel bad. If I feel bad for anybody out of any of them, it's Cobra. He's just like a weirdo when it comes down to it. Yeah, he's done some weird things and he said some weird stuff, but he's just a fucking weirdo. He's like way more harmless than lots of the other people. There's no way he can beat my powerful bird, Pokemon. Oh no, it's gonna be that bird man from that paranormal thing that we talked about. Some fried, fried and fried chicken. Mm. Sally would win in a fight <laughs> against Barb. <laughs> Just, you know, Barb can't do anything, probably. Yeah, I don't think Chris Chad's mom needs any more beatings, exactly. Hell yeah. Possibly. Sally's his grandma, but like, you know, we like to troll him and say that it's actually his mom. That his dad, like, did it with his mom and she gave birth to him. Oh, yeah, Caustic. He's definitely put himself in a bad position with the alcohol and weed. Yeah, <laughs> Frank Birdman with the red shoes, absolutely. Bob versus Ed. Bob in his prime. If it's old Bob, then Ed probably could, like, sucker punch him or something, because Ed's got that, like, you know, like, white trash power behind him. But Bob in his younger days probably could have, like, whooped Ed. Stuffy foul. Whatever the hell this thing is. Is like a chicken. Oh my god. House. Yeah, I've definitely seen Wings of Redemption. He's he's crazy. I've seen him talk about like shooting a dog or something and throwing it in the swamp. Wings is crazy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Poopy Butt. I'll totally do that. I need to, like, learn more about him. I just know, like, eh, little bits of here and there. Like, didn't he go, like, live with somebody for a little bit or something? And he just would always piss with the door open? <laughs> That's about as, as much as, like, war as I remember. He just would always piss with the door open. <laughs> Hmm. 
Merry Christmas, Mr. Metal Skull. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, yes, Farson. That, that's so good. Kinky's video is, like, top tier. It's better than, like, shit that, like, gets produced on, like, most channels nowadays. What happens if I go down this way? Nothing. <laughs> Oh my god, that's where he went to? FPS Russia's house? Holy shit. See, I know a little bit about that. Just a little bit about that. That FPS boot camp? Oh my god, that's hilarious. I forgot who it was and what. I just remember hearing somebody talk about... I think learning about racks has pushed out so much useful information from my brain. I used to, like, remember the stuff better and used to be able to be like, oh, yeah, that's who it was. But, like, literally <laughs> having to, like, learn about racks and keep up with them has just literally pushed, pushed all the useful information out of my brain. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he had to get him a whole shower? That's so fucking funny. Alright, I think I was done with those things up there. So, damn, that, like, trying to train up that little, like, bud guy turned him into, like, a flaming apple or something. Alright, I want to see what types of these things are. Ice, ice, ice poison, ground, fire rock, rock dark, shit, water, ice, dark bug. Okay, cool. Alright. Well, Pimp by Liquid Richard. Hell yeah, Mark. Hang on, let me try to like figure out what you're talking about here. Is there nothing new about... I mean, uh, who knows? Chris Chan's always doing crazy shit, writing letters and whatnot. Okay, so is that... Is what you want me to look up on YouTube? My DSP thoughts. I don't know that much about him to like have that much thoughts. He's like trying to beg people for money and jerking off on stream when people doesn't know about it, I think. Oh, hell yeah. Liquid Richard. I've lost where it is. Pump Pimp. All right. Let's see here. This is a liquid Richard production. Oh, damn it. Sorry. It's like loading. <laughs> Using this like program sometimes like messes up when I first start playing stuff. I make shitty content. Donate or get the fuck out. Who can fuck the ugliest bitch? I got you. Give me the fat bitch over there. I got you. That's what I want. That's who I am. That's what I want. 450 pound man. West Coast, nigga. It's a way of life. You think exercise ain't gonna do anything for me? All it's gonna do is make me hungry. Nobody wants to help me. We could be at the fucking club, right? 
You don't like the slack pussy? Go for the prime cut. That pussy's not gonna slay itself. Slay itself. All day slay. All day slay. <laughs> I put those was in there with my like soundboard. Money from children and drives Lamborghinis his entire life. Oh, it is. Drives Lamborghinis. Hey. Who can fuck the ugliest bitch? I got you. Give me the fat bitch over there. I got you. That's what I want. That's who I am. That's what I want. 450 pound man. Who can fuck the ugliest bitch? I got you. Give me the fat bitch over there. I got you. That's yes. What I want. That's who I am. Yes, executive. Chris absolutely 100% slept with his mom. That's why he's in jail right now. Lord of the wing. Shut the fuck up, Lean. It's ridiculous. Lean. I hope your family dies in an automobile wreck. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Real talk. Go, go away. Seriously, I don't give a shit. Big up Liquid Richard. I'm sorry, I can't read the chat when I have this up. All right. All right. Now I can read the chat again. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that was real funny. Oh, dude, you're fine. Typos, typos are just part of typing on shit, you know? Hell yeah, Liquid Richard. What's up, Parker Saint? I know, it's so funny. But yeah, I did see like what you said, executive. But yeah, he 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 absolutely <laughs> did it with his mom, 100%. Yeah, he kept on admitting it to people. And he did that whole like guessing game Riddler thing like, "I've got a new I've got a new girlfriend." And he just described his mom. Like everything that he did was just describing his mom. I mean, that's really good work, Poopy Butt. Like, it takes so much time to do shit like that. Alright. So, I guess I'm just training this little, like, bug thing for a little bit. <laughs> the fungus girl that was talking to Chris? That's like Isabella Janky. That's who that is, but then there was a girl that she was trying to manipulate into doing it with Chris or something, or Chris into doing it with her, but then did it with his mom instead. I'm kind of confused. I forget what her name was. But the fungus girl is Bella, Isabella. Wings Tings V8? Hell yeah. I know, right, Poopy Butt? It's, yeah, that's what it is. He's so threatened by other men that he himself didn't even want to be a man. I'm sure she is. I'm sure she is a science experiment. Stanky Jakey. That's so funny. Like, her parents all had some bullshit, right? <laughs> they all had their hand in some, like, bullshit or whatnot. I forget exactly what it was.
that was just him being like not able to accept himself and not being true and honest. That's why he always had to make videos reassuring himself that he was straight. Because he wasn't. He wasn't straight. And he's just like, I have to reassure myself. The only person he was trying to convince that he was straight was himself, you know? Oh my god, yeah, exactly. Some sort of military security or something. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he likes China, not ducks. Oh yeah, it definitely, it was definitely something like that when I heard that, I was just like, hmm, that's kind of weird. Chinese ducks. <laughs> Chris Chan said that he liked the China, you know, because he did. He was too like embarrassed to say vagina, so he would say China, and then like duck because he was too embarrassed to say dick. He would say duck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what for. What Forrest had said. He called the lady parts China. Yeah, and the male parts ducks. He was just too embarrassed. Too embarrassed to like say the real proper words. Oh my god. Just kill me so I can switch out and like get a bunch of EXP for the guy I'm trying to train. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe it works better if you have more than one Pokemon. I know, that's so gross! That is so gross, people, but... Ugh! Hang on, what do I have? <laughs> I don't have any kind of, like, sound that would, you know, indicate disgust. But it's so gross. He thought that was gonna work. <laughs> ah. Thought just like cutting a big hole and it was gonna work. No, Rax will never embrace his orientation because like his like uncle brother was already gay and like, you know, he, Every, Sally was cool with it. Everybody was like, okay, like, yeah, we know that you're gay, dead gay Bill. <laughs> oh, gross. Navy and Fanta. Oh, look, there's Caroline. I'm gonna get you, Caroline. Maybe. <laughs> what do I got? Oh my gross. Toxic Avenger character. Do you ever watch Toxic Crusaders? <laughs> like the cartoon that Lloyd Kaufman tried to make to like compete with Ninja Turtles about an R-rated movie, Toxic Avenger. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. AIDS death. <laughs> oh, if he stopped being a tough guy, would he embrace it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he would ever embrace it. It would be in secret, you know? He would still, like, do, like, stuff with other dudes. But he, he would, like, deny it until the day that he died. Yeah, he's definitely in the closet. Oh yeah, I can't wait for that. I mean, I'm not saying like I want Sally to die, I can't wait for Sally's death, but I can't wait for his Rax to be homeless, exactly like where he needs to be. So he can really learn how it is to work. He's gotta work so hard! I work so hard, guys! He'll like learn how to like, actually work. Alright, hey, 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 I called Caroline. Caroline was called. Yes. Let's see what I'm gonna learn. Lear. Oh my god. Scream at Marty from the McDonald's Play Place, like live streaming in the Play Place, like trying to talk to the kids. Caroline. Caroline is a talking quail. Christian Pokemon. <sighs> Give a nickname to the captured Caroline. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it called Caroline. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh. Let me see. I'm gonna try to train this a little bit more, and then maybe we'll go try to like fight and. Humble leader or whatnot one more time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Homeless saga or prison saga. I don't know, do they pay taxes on the property? I don't know what what's going on or how it does. That's what should happen, Caustic, absolutely. Bible Mon. Like, Bible Man. Bible Man was crazy. <laughs> it was like they were making fun of it, almost. Like, Bible Man wasn't being taken serious at all. Like, they were like, Oh no! Satan! Watch out! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't do it, Poopy Butt. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> oh, they just rent the house, home, home Slice. <laughs> they just rent it. They don't own it. He should be in some kind of group home or something. When it comes down to it. Yeah, absolutely. He's gonna be fucked for sure. Alright, let's see. One more thing. I don't know, maybe. 
Are the buddy trolls- do the buddy trolls actually, like, give him money and stuff, though? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Oh yeah, booby butt, you gotta do that. He needs- yeah, he needs to be put in a group home. Oh, hell, wait, slime gulp? What is this? Cool move. The user moves last. This attack will suppress the foe's ability. Huh. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, do they actually give him money? Like, or are they just like, you're doing a good job? Because if they actually give him money, then they're not buddy trolls anymore. Then they're just like friends and like simps and shit for him. They're just rack simps. Once I sent him a dollar and took it back immediately afterwards. <laughs> because he was telling people to like, send me money and I'll play a song. And I sent like a dollar and told him to play like Street Race and Sing and then immediately took it back from him. Just to fuck with him, because he'd be like, Oh, someone sent me money! Oh, no, they fucking took it back. They took back the dollar. <laughs> Just to be fucking petty and, like, be a goober to him. Oh, my God, he sucks Tyree off. He probably does. Exactly, yeah. I've already warned about people doing it. Oh, yeah, the the group home doesn't want him to, like, infect everybody else. And those people would be in danger, like what he did to Blind Billy. So those people are already going to be in danger if he's, like, staying anywhere with anybody. Alright, I'm going to try this one more time, I guess. Let's see, what kind of Pokemon do I have? What kind of berries do I have? Oh, damn, I don't have anything that's gonna like heal me. Alright, sweet. No, Rex doesn't have any tattoos. <laughs> No one should ever donate. <laughs> he made him blind. He was already blind before, and that's why he was able to uh, go over to his house, you know, because no one's going to let Cyrex go over to their house unless they've never seen him before. Here we go. Try this one more time. If I, like, make it not work, will it, like, stop it from, like, ganging up? Oh yeah, definitely, she's triggered. That's so funny, they tell them that they didn't send their vacuum parts, so they request a refund. Yeah, of course he couldn't handle a tattoo. No way.
Damn. Let's see, what am I going to do? <laughs> Hell yeah, death. He would get a tattoo that said, like, Rest in peace, Green Ranger. We love you. We, we miss you. Some shit like that. <laughs> Riders of the bike path. Oh, my God. Damn it. Well, it killed me. It was faster than me. I, I predicted it was going to go into its thing, but it didn't go into. Oh. 